What's up, y'all? Matt from Deluxe Fab. Today, we're going to show you how to turn your regular portal transmission into the ultralight system. Let's say you already have one of these and you want to buy the, uh, the ultralight conversion kit. This is how you do it. So one of the easy ways to tell a portal from a nod, besides the general size, portals have titanium output shafts, the nods have steel. So, and on the portal, these are in a straight line. On the nod, they're at an angle. And the nod's a little bigger. So, basic stuff. Start by pulling this part. This is the same concept if you guys wanted to flip it left or right or whatever. Let's say you have a uh, left-hand motor like this and you want a right-hand motor. It's the same thing you would do to flip it around. Pull the screws out. screws all out there you go gentle pop that plate out as far as shims with this stuff guys it's as needed there's always a tolerance with any kind of manufacturing and we use them as needed so there's no like set recipe for it this one's got a shim here behind this flange bearing so we'll pop him out of the way Pull the bearing out Pull the locker out. Let's see, that's what you got there. Pull this one out. Bam. Now you can push all these bearings out. Push them out. They're tight. Usually just push them out by hand. Boom, boom like that. We're leaving it back in there. Because oh, there's another shim on this one. Push it back in there. Bam. Pretty basic stuff. I right, set that aside. We already got bearings on these plates just for levity and getting through it quicker, making the video. Take your locker gear. If you pop this apart by accident, come on now. Remember the pin side goes close to this little ring. Pin, ring, and then the gear goes on from this side. So that one's a nice tight fit in there. That part's gonna drop in like so. Take your other gear. Let's see, she's kind of pushed out of her home. There we go. Drop her in like so. That's how the gear train fits, just for giggles. But first, we're gonna pull that out. We're gonna put on our uh, aluminum stays. So the bottom ones on this transmission, all three, have the threaded holes. So let's start these. You want to make sure those are 90 degrees, pointed downwards for your, for your mounting holes. This next bottom one is countersunk, because your motor is going to lay right over it, right here. again just try to make sure they're pointed down we can go back and adjust all that later no big deal one more cross brace stay whatever you want to call it that one really doesn't matter which way it faces now we'll drop our gears in like so now, these push in, they're a tight fit by necessity. You should be able to push them in and out with your thumb. Sometimes you might need a little tappy tap, but you should be able to get it, no problem. Drop that on. Bam. Put your screws back in.
There you go. We'll try portal. So, there you go. Now you have the lightest transmission you can get your hands on. If you wanted to get all gung-ho, you could take more weight out of this, but we're not going to. You can if you want, though. It's yours. All right, guys. That's how you convert a regular portal to an ultralight portal. Thanks. See ya.